Hi everyone, I'm Ariel Lim, and this is Ariel Lim Yoga. So you know who I am, you know what we're doing. Thank you for joining me on the mat today for yoga for a rainy day. It has been raining all day here in my city, so I am just not feeling active. <laughs> we are going to have a nice chill practice just to bring a little bit of movement into the body. I know for me, when it's rainy, I can get a little bit stiff. So we're just gonna gently stretch those muscles and have a nice little practice. We'll start in a comfortable seated position of your choice. I'm here in a half lotus, so you can crisscross applesauce in an easy pose. You can be in a nice thunderbolt or kneeling position. You can even start laying down if that is your jam, but I am seated today, so we'll start here. So let our lower body grow heavy as our spine grows nice and long, reaching up towards the ceiling with the crown of the head. We'll relax those shoulders down and back. Close the eyes here for a moment and just scan your body, noticing any tightness or tension that you can work on as we flow today. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and gently exhale out of the mouth, settling into our practice here. Take another nice, full, deep breath through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Beautiful. On our next inhale, we'll rise the arms up and overhead, reaching up towards the sky or the ceiling. You can open your eyes here. And then we'll lower the right hand and reach up and over with the left fingertips. And we'll just gently pulse here, getting a nice side body stretch, bringing some movement into it. This should be a nice stretch all the way up from the hip crease, through the obliques, through the shoulder blades. Really reach towards the right here couple more as you're breathing. <sighs> Beautiful. We'll come back up through center, reach up towards the ceiling, and then we'll take that to the other side, lowering the left hand and reaching over and pulsing with those right fingertips. Really reaching up from the lower body all the way along the side body. Should feel really nice here. Beautiful. We'll come back up through center. Rise those hands up once again, and we'll take a forward fold. You can walk the hands over to the left, bringing the right hand on top of the left. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Getting a nice side body stretch here as well, but also bringing it down into the low back. I've been pretty lazy today, so my low back is nice and tight. This feels great. We'll walk through center and take that to the right, bringing the left hand on top of the right and exhaling to fold. Breathing from the low back all the way out through those fingertips. And then we'll walk it back through center. Inhale, find some length in the spine and exhale. Fold. Beautiful. Begin to walk it back up and we'll inhale to rise the arms up and overhead and take a twist to the right. Bring the left hand to the right knee. We'll gaze over that right shoulder. Inhale, grow long through the spine, and exhale to twist. Twist from the rib cage up to really go deep into this twist. Inhale, and exhale back up through center. We'll reach the arms up and overhead. 
And we'll take that twist to the left, bringing the right hand to the left knee, gazing over the left shoulder. Inhale to find a little more space in the spine to exhale and twist a little deeper. Take a nice deep, full breath here. And we'll exhale back to center and make our way to a tabletop position. In your tabletop position, you'll spread your fingers nice and wide, placing the wrists underneath the shoulders, the knees, underneath the hips. And we're going to just rock forward and back, giving the wrists a little bit of a stretch here. Beautiful. Now you can take your hands. So they're facing the sides of your mat. And we're just going to rock side to side. Not because we'll be doing anything really weight bearing on our wrists. But because I've been doing a lot of scrolling. <laughs> so my wrists are sore. <laughs> and if you'd like, you can turn the hands to face you. Maybe you do one at a time and we'll rock back and forth, just getting a little bit of a deeper stretch in the wrists up through the inside part of the forearm here. And then we'll turn those hands around to face the front and we'll move into some cat cows. So we'll inhale to drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the tailbone for our cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, reaching it towards the ceiling as you press the ground away. Bring the chin to the chest for cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, cow. Exhale, round that spine for your cat pose, bringing the chin to the chest. And then move in and out of those cats and cows at your own breath, your own pace. It should feel especially nice if your lower back and your spine are a little bit stiff. It's a great way to gently wake that spine up and bring some movement. A couple more rounds here. Inhale for cow. Exhale into cat. And then we'll find a neutral tabletop position, reaching the crown forward and the tailbone back. On an inhale, we'll rise that right arm up, reaching up towards the sky. And then we'll exhale to thread the needle, bringing the right arm underneath the left, bringing the right shoulder and ear to the mat. Taking a few breaths here. <sighs> Getting a nice stretch in the shoulders, in the upper body. another nice full deep breath here and use your exhale to come back through center into your tabletop position we'll inhale to rise the left arm up reaching up towards the sky and then we'll exhale to thread the needle bringing the left shoulder and ear to the mat breathing here into the shoulders In the upper body. And then we'll come back up to our tabletop position, bring those big toes to touch, extend the knees out into a V-shape as wide as your mat or as wide as is comfortable in your skin and reach forward, lowering the chest and the forehead down for a child's pose. Reach the 
glutes and the hips back towards the heels. As you reach forward with the fingertips, maybe you lift the hands up off the mat, pressing the fingertips for a more active stretch in the upper part of the arms and the shoulders. And just breathe here. Couple more breaths at your own pace. Slowly press yourself back up. And then we're going to move into a frog pose just for a few moments, stretching out those inner thighs and hips. So we'll walk the knees out as wide as is comfortable for you, bringing the inside parts of the feet to the floor. You can lower to the forearms and just breathe into the inner thighs and hips. We won't be here long. Just keep breathing, keep the feet nice and flexed and active in your frog pose. Maybe you pulse a little bit just to bring a little movement. Holding for three, for two, and for one. We'll press ourselves up, walk the knees back underneath the hips to a tabletop position. And then we'll move into a plank. So we'll tuck the toes under, lift ourselves up. And then we'll bring the left foot to the right edge of our mat, the left knee behind the wrist for a pigeon pose. Bring the top of the leg and foot on the right side to the mat. Sitting up for a moment. Inhale and exhale to come down to the forearms. might sway a little bit here bring some movement if that feels good or you can enjoy stillness in your pigeon pose and if pigeon is not a good shape for you you can sit down and cross the left foot over the right leg around the knee for a figure four aided stretch You'll want a little more. You can press the thigh and the shin and the top of the right foot into the mat. Really feel that resistance. Holding for a couple more breaths here. Beautiful. Then we'll roll over onto the left hip and bring that right leg forward bringing the sole of the left foot inside of the right thigh. We'll sit up nice and tall here, flexing the right foot, reaching up with the arms, and then we'll exhale to take a forward fold, leading with the chest, letting the hands rest wherever they land. If you need to have a bend in this right knee, by all means, bend your knee. There's no rule that says your knee has to be locked and straight. Breathe into the low back, into the hamstring. Let the left hip, thigh, shin grow heavy, pressing into your mat as you breathe here. Taking a few more breaths. You want a little more in the low back you can reach to grab the outside and the inside of the foot and pull with the biceps bringing your chest closer to your thigh or your knee you 
Not that your chest would get anywhere near your knee. It's just the intention here. You should really feel that in the low back, in the hamstring, under the knee. Inhale, we'll roll back up to center and we'll bring the soles of the feet together for our bound angle pose. Holding the ankles. Maybe you take some butterfly motions here. Feeling a nice stretch in the inner thighs. In the hips. One of my favorite stretches, honestly. And we'll find a moment of stillness here. Sit up nice and tall. And then we'll begin to hinge forward at the hips, pressing our elbows into our thighs, leading forward with the chest. Finding our shape, finding a stretch that feels good for you. I love this stretch here because you can feel it in the inner thighs and the low back. And then you can pulse, that feels good. Holding for just a few breaths. There are wind chimes outside of my house and the wind and the rain with the wind chimes just sounds so beautiful. Love rainy day yoga. I hope you do too. We'll slowly roll back up. Extend the left leg, bringing the sole of the right foot into the left thigh. We'll flex that left foot, reaching the toes towards the ceiling. Reach up with the hand. And then fold here. Again, you can bend the knee if you'd like. Breathe here into the low back, into the hamstring. Let the right thigh, the right hip grow heavy here, pressing it towards the floor as you reach forward with the chest. Again, if you need a little more here, you can grab the inside and the outside of the foot and pull with the biceps. Not too much pressure, gentle pull here, just until you feel that little stretch in the low, low back. And then from the hamstring, all the way from the glutes to the back of the knee. Again, if your knee is bent, that's all good too. And you don't have to bring that stretch too far into the hamstring. I know a lot of us have tight hamstrings. So listen to your body. It'll tell you what it needs. Another breath here. Beautiful. We'll slowly roll it back up making our way back to a plank position. And we'll take our pigeon on the other side. So we'll bring the right foot to the left side of the mat, the right knee behind the right wrist, bringing the top of the foot and the leg on the left side down to our mat. Sit up tall for a moment. And exhale to come down to the forearms. You can take some movement here if you'd like. Maybe swaying side to side. I know for me, and for a lot of us, that swaying or rocking is a very soothing motion. So whether you're anxious or you just want a little movement, it's a great, great thing to do. Very relaxing and calming. You can press into the left thigh, shin and foot for a little more stretch. Beautiful. 
couple more breaths here. And then we'll press ourselves back up. Bring that leg back, bring the big toes to touch, knees out wide, and we'll move back into our child's pose. Taking a few breaths here. Noticing if there's any different sensations this time around now that we've done a little more hip opening since our last child's pose. Noticing if you're feeling less stiff. Less tense, more relaxed on this rainy day. Or even if it's not a rainy day for you, maybe you feel relaxed. Beautiful. We'll come back up to our tabletop, cross the ankles, bring the feet forward. Keeping our knees up to the sky, we'll lower ourselves down to our backs. We'll press the hands into the mat, walk our heels back until we could feel the heels, brush the fingertips. Find the shape where your low back is flush with the mat, whether you might have to tilt your pelvis back or forward. And on an inhale, we'll begin to lift the hips up off the mat for our bridge pose, keeping a nice line of energy from the knees to the hips. Keeping the knees together, imagining there's a block between them. You can clasp the hands underneath you, bringing the shoulder blades together if you'd like them a little more, popping that chest forward and getting a nice stretch along the collarbone. Take a nice deep breath here. And exhale to lower one vertebra at a time. You could cross the right ankle over the left knee for our figure four pose. Holding here for just a moment. Maybe you rock side to side. And then we'll bring the knees gently over to the right as we cactus the arm. And maybe you gaze over towards the left hand. Taking a breath here. And exhale. Relaxing into your twist. Holding for three breaths. Beautiful. We'll come back up through center. Relax the right foot onto our mat and bring the left ankle over the right knee for our figure four, rocking side to side. You could keep your hands in that cactus shape because we'll make our way there again anyways. So you don't have to stay there if you want to bring your hands to the belly or to the mat if that feels good. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly guide the knee to the left and gaze over towards the right hand. Take a nice deep breath here, rinsing the spine. And exhale to let go of anything that's no longer serving you. Let it flow and melt into your mat. We'll take three breaths here at our own pace. Come back up through center, bring the knees to the chest, give ourselves a little squeeze, a little moment of self-love here. And then we'll let the right foot make its way to the right corner of the mat. 
oh, I heard that pop. <laughs> Maybe you're popping too. And I'll bring that left foot to the left corner. We'll relax the arms by our sides, palms facing up. And prepare for our Shavasana. Take a nice full deep breath here. The biggest breath you've taken all day. And use your exhale to release the weight of your mat. Oh, sorry, the weight of your body completely into your mat. Another nice full deep breath, just like that one. And exhale to relax into your Shavasana. Slowly begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. Maybe roll the wrists and the ankles, bringing some movement back into our bodies. Returning to our space here. And then choose the side that resonates with you today. Turning onto that side using our bottom arm as a pillow. Scanning the body here, noticing how we feel, noticing our energy, and taking a moment to extend gratitude to ourselves for coming to the mat today. I know for me on a rainy day, I'm a little bit lazy. So if you are dealing with those kind of feelings today, I'm so proud of you for doing something good for your body, taking time for yourself. On our next inhale, we'll press ourselves up to a seated position, keeping the eyes closed or the gaze lowered. We'll sit up nice and tall. Breathing here. Enjoying this relaxed, Calm energy, soaking it in, knowing we can return to it at any time, rainy day or not. It's always here for us, along with our mat and our practice. Take a nice deep breath, extending the arms up and overhead, the palms meet. And we'll exhale those hands to heart center and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this yoga for a rainy day. I hope you're feeling so calm and relaxed and peaceful and ready to enjoy the rest of your day, your night, your weekend, whatever it is for you. Hope to see you on the mat again soon. And as always, from my heart to yours.